What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over topical authority for SEO. And what I'm going to be going over is how I plan to grow the overall clicks to my website for LinkedIn ads related keywords over the next 100 days and beyond. So we're going to come over here to Google Search Console real quick for my website surfsideppc.com and what you're going to see is I took a 100 day period. So I'm currently doing my 100 day content marketing blitz. And what I want to do is I want to increase clicks and impressions to my website for search terms that contain LinkedIn. So looking at the 100 day period, February 12th to May 23rd, 2023, you can see I only drove nine clicks to my website and about 20,000 impressions. And you can see it's pretty consistent for the most part during this entire stretch of 100 days with no real growth or no real declines. So the only page I had on my website for LinkedIn advertising is this complete guide for 2023, which was not completely updated, is only about a thousand words long, and definitely needs a lot more detail to actually be a complete guide for LinkedIn advertising. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be writing all sorts of content related to LinkedIn ads. And I'm gonna be showing you my nine step process to building topical authority. And I'm gonna show you how I can actually increase the clicks and impressions specifically for LinkedIn keywords, really LinkedIn advertising keywords, but any LinkedIn related keyword that is driving traffic to my website. And we're just gonna keep track of our clicks and our impressions from Google Search Console. So let's come over here and let's first start by going over topical authority. If you're not familiar with topical authority, it refers to the experience, expertise, and credibility that a website has about a specific topic. Now that credibility is determined by the amount of quality, relevant, and updated content that a website has created about a topic. So when you start thinking about topics like SEO, there are probably a couple websites that come to your mind. Those websites have topical authority because if the first thing you think about when you think about a specific topic are a couple different websites that cover that topic the best, a couple different websites that you're most likely to go to when you're looking for new information about a topic, those websites have built topical authority and the way they've done it is by consistently creating really quality content around that topic over time. So a couple questions to ask, how much can you learn about a specific topic from a single website and which website or websites cover a topic with detailed and accurate information. So the reason why it's important is because it can improve your website's vis visibility in search engine results. When we come back over here and we look at my example where I have one blog post about LinkedIn advertising on my entire blog, so I've just completely neglected writing about LinkedIn advertising after all these years, I've created some videos on my channel, but it's just not a topic that I've covered really in depth, and it's a channel that I've used for years and I'm currently running a lot of ads for a single client in LinkedIn advertising. So what I thought was why not use that information that I'm gaining and start to put out more and more content around LinkedIn advertising to demonstrate topical authority. And the KPI that I'm gonna be using is my clicks and my impressions in Google Search Console. So let's come back over here. Let's keep going over topical authority a little bit. So the other reason it's important is because search engines, specifically Google and other search engines, are going to rank sites higher that demonstrate comprehensive knowledge on a particular topic. And really, it helps to cover a particular topic for years and years at a time. If you've just created a brand new website, your goal should be creating as much content as possible for that website. But you really want it to be high quality content and you want it to be topic focused. So quick example. A website like runnersworld.com, they have all types of content about running topics, and this website has existed for years. They consistently put out new content, really high quality content around anything you can think about running, sprinting, marathon, running shoes, anything you can think about running, they have content for it. So they are going to be much more likely to rank for competitive running keywords than many of their competitors and especially new websites. If I create a new running website tomorrow, it will take me years to start to try to rank ahead runner's world specifically for some of the keywords they are really heavily focused on. And even if we come over here to Google real quick and just search running training, so a very, very popular keyword and a difficult keyword to rank for, the very first organic listing here is runnersworld.com and you can see it just says training. And then as we scroll down here, what's the 30-30 running plan? If we click on this, so the 30-30 plan, runner's world. So not only are they have do they have these top results for a lot of these really competitive keywords, they are also in a lot of these different featured snippets. People also ask, so when people are looking up any information related to running, they are likely to find runnersworld.com because they have topical authority. So coming over here, this is going to be my nine-step strategy for to build topical authority. 
And I'm going to keep this very, very simple. So the main thing we want to start with is picking our topic, picking our short tail keyword we want to focus on. In my case, it's going to be LinkedIn ads. Benchmark your KPI. So there's a bunch of different KPIs you can use. You can look at your Google Analytics account and you can see how much traffic you're getting to specific pages on your website. You can see how much organic search traffic you're getting looking at Google Analytics. I like using Google Search Console because it's really quick and easy to see your increases. And hopefully at the end of this 100 day period, because I'm going to compare my results from the previous 100 days to the next 100 days. And we're going to see if I can increase those clicks and increase those impressions drastically for LinkedIn ads. And my goal is to keep increasing it every single 100 day period after that. So that's how why you want to benchmark your KPI. You want to be able to demonstrate, okay, I created 20 really high quality articles around a specific topic and I cover that topic in depth. And how has that actually helped my website? So to get started, the, one of the first things I did was export keywords from Google Search Console. So if we come back over here and we open up our Google Search Console account, all I did was I clicked on new here, went to query and typed in LinkedIn. I'm looking at a 100 day period and then right up here at the top, you can click on export. So I've already exported this. And if we come over here to my Microsoft Excel sheet, you can see this is basically my overall plan for a lot of the different articles I'm going to be creating over the next 30 to 60 days. So these are LinkedIn ads articles, and I'm also going to be creating YouTube videos about all of these topics as well, embedding the videos within my articles. And really my goal is to increase my YouTube views related to LinkedIn advertising and also my blog traffic related to LinkedIn advertising. And most of that traffic is going to come from the YouTube search engine and the Google search engine. So what I've done is if we scroll down here, these are all of the different search queries that were coming up for my Google search console account just from the one page I had on LinkedIn ads. So if we come back over here to Google Search Console, you can see my one search term. If we scroll down here, I have all of these different search queries here and we'll go by impressions and you can see the impressions of some of these different keywords. Now you'll see I had a decent amount of impressions for some of these keywords for really not doing a lot of work, but overall 166 total keywords. It's really not too many. So what I did is I just exported all of this information. I have clicks, impressions, and I like to look at average position as well. So just seeing where my position is trending for some of these different keywords. Obviously, I'm in the 90th position for LinkedIn ads, so I have a lot of work to do to increase that position. And really where you want to be is in that top 10 position. You want to be as high as you possibly can. So this 8.8 .8 right here for LinkedIn ads tutorial, since my blog post is more geared towards an actual tutorial for creating LinkedIn ads, that one ranked a little bit higher, but obviously not as many impressions and clicks for that keyword. So you'll see here coming down and looking at all these keywords should give you a ton of ideas for different types of content you can create. In addition to using Google search console, the other thing that I'm going to be using is the Google keyword planner. So let's open the keyword planner. When we come into the keyword planner, it's really easy to do topic focused keyword research. I actually think one of the struggles that people have with keyword research is they're basically looking at a very broad topic without ever splitting it into subtopics. So since my very broad topic is paid advertising, I do cover SEO and some other topics, but as far as paid advertising, some of the subtopics within that is Google ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, Pinterest ads, YouTube ads, all these different advertising channels. So if we come over here and we start with keywords, just enter our main two keywords here. That's all you really need to do with the Google Keyword Planner, LinkedIn ads, LinkedIn advertising, that should pull up every relevant keyword that we wanna target with our content. So we have these two keywords here. The very first thing I like to take note of is what does the overall search volume look like for some of these different months for the keyword that we're targeting. So as you can see here, we're about 40,000 for most months. Some months are a little bit higher. Some months are a little bit lower. You can look at a longer term period of data, but it's not a ton of search volume there. But to me, it's enough search volume to be worth targeting. And these are also very, very valuable keywords and you'll learn that as we scroll down here you see the top of page bid the low range and the high range for some of these keywords so even the low range for something like linkedin document ads 45 dollars if i could start driving some of that organic traffic to my website what i can try to do is get some linkedin advertising leads and that will not only help me grow my client business but i can also earn more from the advertisements on my website so what i did is i exported this data as well so you can export this as a csv file or google sheets and then I took that and I also put that into my Microsoft Excel sheet. 
That is over here on the right hand side. And I generally use this information when I'm coming up with my content ideas. So let's come back to my nine step strategy here. We have, we picked our topic, we've benchmarked our KPI, we've exported keywords from Google Search Console, we've done our keyword research from Google Keyword Planner. Now what we need to do, and this will really be the last thing I go over in this video, is creating our content strategy using SEO, our SEO keyword research list. So coming back over to Microsoft Excel, generally all I do is I take out keywords that to me represent a subtopic within our larger topic. So over here on the left-hand side, it's pretty easy to do this for a topic like LinkedIn ads, but you can see our main two keywords, LinkedIn ads, LinkedIn advertising, those are all going to be geared towards what is called a pillar page. I will go over that in a little bit. So we are going to basically be creating a topic cluster around LinkedIn advertising. Now, LinkedIn ads tutorial for beginners, LinkedIn ads costs, campaign management, lead generation, conversion tracking, and all I generally do is I go down this list and I try to find unique topics that I can cover within our larger topic. So when we come over here, ad types, cost, document ads, video ads, targeting, and then some of these here, so cost per impression, that to me will be the same exact topic as cost. That is just a long tail keyword of LinkedIn ads cost. These are all long tail keywords of LinkedIn ads. So you don't need to actually cover every individual unique keyword here. What you need to do is within our blog article for LinkedIn ads costs, I need to say, okay, what is the average cost per impression for LinkedIn ads and put that directly in our blog article. Now, LinkedIn targeting is one I've already completed. So I'll go over that blog article in a minute. But as we keep scrolling down here, basically what I'm gonna be going over are different targeting types, different advertisement types, different campaign types. Basically any type of advertising feature within LinkedIn ads is something that I'm gonna cover. So. Coming up to the top here, the only page that I had before we began this is this LinkedIn advertising page. What I've created since then is LinkedIn ads cost, ads, specs and sizes, optimizing LinkedIn ads, targeting and advertising for business to business software as a service products. So let's come back over to my blog real quick. If we come over to some of my recent blog posts, you can see I have LinkedIn advertising complete guide for 2023. We have costs, we have specs and sizes for advertisements. B2B software as a service, if we keep coming up, optimizing LinkedIn ads campaigns, and then I have a few lead generation, so this is still a draft, I have a lot of work to do on that one. LinkedIn ads targeting, that's one I've actually completed, and then setting up LinkedIn ads conversion tracking, I've done all the videos for that, but I just need to write the blog article now. So, coming over to my website, here is my main page, LinkedIn advertising. Now some of the other supporting content that I'm gonna be creating are things like targeting complete guide for 2023. If we scroll down here, I go over all the different types of targeting that you can use, images for every single type of targeting that you can use, location targeting, language targeting, how you can narrow your LinkedIn audience, utilize LinkedIn match audiences, basically anything you need to know about targeting, I've gone over in this blog post, and then I've also given people some best practices. So now what I need to do for this keyword is actually create a video that goes over all the different LinkedIn ads targeting types. Another one that I've done are LinkedIn advertising for business to business software as a service companies. So some tips and best practices. So just some different ways to actually drive more leads using your LinkedIn company page and using LinkedIn advertising. So if we come back over here, I've done the easy part. The easy part is the keyword research. The hard part is creating quality blog content, creating quality video content, making sure that I've internally linked my blog content together. So if I'm talking about targeting in my blog post, then if I mention targeting in another blog post about LinkedIn ads, making sure I'm actually linking to my detailed blog post about targeting, because essentially search engines are looking for, okay, this person is looking specifically for all the LinkedIn ad types. On this blog post, they go over every LinkedIn ad type, and they're also linking out to a bunch of supporting content about LinkedIn ads targeting, about how to set up conversion tracking, about how to set up retargeting campaigns, basically how to do everything on LinkedIn ads. Therefore, this resource is the best resource on the internet for LinkedIn ads, and ultimately, that's the goal that I'm trying to create over the next several months. So internal linking, optimizing my blog and my video content, and then marketing my content using social media, using my email list, and then just making sure that I'm trying to generate backlinks, especially for my main pillar page. So pillar pages. One of the best ways to create topical authority is creating topic clusters. Your pillar page is your main page for your topic, your short tail keyword. Sometimes the easiest way to look at a topic cluster is a simple visual visualization. 
We have LinkedIn ads as the main keyword that we're targeting. And then we have all these different pillar pages. I will have a lot more than just these six. I just wanted to show you this as an example. LinkedIn ads costs, optimizing LinkedIn ads, targeting LinkedIn carousel ads, LinkedIn video ads, LinkedIn ad strategy. So within all of these blog posts, I can give really detailed information specifically about whatever the main topic of that blog post is. And then when people actually search for LinkedIn ads, my main page is going to link out to all of these different pages. And my main page will go over the cost of LinkedIn ads, go over how to optimize LinkedIn ads, but not as much detail as all of these different blog posts. Now, coming back over here, your cluster pages are your additional content for your long tail keywords, like LinkedIn ads targeting and how to optimize your LinkedIn ads. Those are long tail keyword variations of our short tail keyword LinkedIn ads. Covering the topic comprehensively. So basically what that comes down to is understanding every in and out of the LinkedIn advertising platform, LinkedIn campaign manager, and making sure that I am covering that topic. So if there's something people are searching regularly, let's just say I don't cover anything about the different LinkedIn ad types, then that's gonna be a huge hole that I haven't covered that topic. So that's the main goal when you're trying to create topical authority, making sure you cover every aspect of a topic. And then you want to link those pages. You want to link specifically from your cluster pages back to your pillar page and vice versa. You should link all of your content together. I'm also going to be embedding videos into all of my different pages. I'm going to try to build backlinks to my main pillar page. There are a few different ways to try to build backlinks. One thing I'm going to try is incorporating statistics within my main pillar page. And then also creating a really helpful tutorial that hopefully if people are saying, here's how to create LinkedIn ads, that they actually link back to that page. Last but not least, making sure I'm promoting my content with social media, with email, making sure I'm getting it out to as many people as possible, maybe trying to create some short -term vi short form video content, so some shorter videos for YouTube shorts, or some other social channels to try to go over some different LinkedIn ads concepts in a minute or two. So. This is my video for Topical Authority. We will continue to keep you updated on how it's performing. So you can see nine clicks, 20,000 impressions over the previous 100 days. The last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is if we come over here to Google Search Console, if we come down to, so this is my first 100 days. If we come down to pages, what you're gonna see is the only LinkedIn advertising page that was actually getting impressions was this main LinkedIn advertising page here. I have a category page that got 99 impressions. So I don't really expect to focus too heavily on this category page. What I really wanna focus on is this main pillar page right here. And then what you're gonna see is if we just look at, we just expand this date. So we'll just go to yesterday was June 5th. So we will click on apply. Now pages first and foremost, you're just gonna start seeing some of these different pages pop in here. So LinkedIn advertising, and then we have LinkedIn ads specs and sizes, LinkedIn ads cost targeting. So some of these different pages that I've created are already starting to generate some impressions and LinkedIn ads cost has 273 impressions at the 22nd position. So this already represents an opportunity. I need to continue to improve this article. And then as I create more LinkedIn ads content, the best part about creating topical authority, all of these pages are going to increase in rankings, especially as I improve my content on each individual page. Now coming up here, one of the things you're gonna see is still only nine total clicks, so it's not like I'm generating a ton of clicks yet, but I don't really expect to within the first several weeks. Now total impressions, you can see only gone up slightly, but one of the things you're gonna see here is average position. So my average position was 61, and if you look right here in April, 67, 70, so I was kind of dropping a lot. I was a little bit better here, 55. As I've created a little bit of content here and we start to come over, my average position is starting to improve. So I started creating content basically right around here for LinkedIn ads, and you're already seeing this average position improve slightly, goes back down, but we're seeing it start to come up a little bit. So 154 impressions, the 34th position. Ultimately our goal, increase those impressions, get this average position as low as possible, so the number as low as possible, we, are, we want our position to be as high as possible, and then ultimately the clicks will follow and we'll improve this average click-through rate, which is pretty low. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Here is the nine-step strategy I will be following for this, and I'm gonna be doing this for different topics rather than just LinkedIn ads, but as we continue to go through this 100-day content marketing blitz, my ultimate goal is to increase traffic to my website. So thank you for watching my video today on topical authority. 
If you have any questions about anything, please leave them in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.